As uh, people may have just watched my video previous to this one, um, talking about that little part in there, talking about demons uh, being able to, it was one of the signs of the Jewish and the Jewish uh, faith that if you uh, could read minds, that it was uh, one of the attributes of having a demon. Now, when I heard that a long time ago, I argued with God a long while back. I was in my bedroom in Chelsea, sitting in there talking to God. No, I, I was talking to him. He wasn't talking to me. And um, saying, you know, how, how unfair is it? Greater is in me than the one in the world. So the one in the world may have a demon. So he has the ability, maybe some demons have the ability, if indeed they can read my mind, how is that, how is that demon greater than what is inside of me? Now, I, and then in my faith walk, I, uh, I noticed that we reading, I noticed that uh, at times Jesus can perceive hearts and know what people are thinking. So Jesus himself, at times when the Father allowed him to, he could read minds and perceive hearts. That's in the Bible. Uh, you can kind of get that. When they try to trap him and he already knows they're trying to trap him, God lets him see that and he acts accordingly because it's God in you. The thing is, is that you should not fear if you're a new creature, a creation in Christ, a new born again. Well, they can read our minds. It's, I know, not even. It's all, it's spiritual. It's spiritual. Greater is in you. If you got born again, you're saved, you want to go God's way. I mean, a demon is a created being. They live in a different world than us in the sense that their day-to-days are different than ours their sensory uh perceptions and everything their world's different they they live in a world of darkness now as uh, they uh work on their craft and uh, often it, uh, it 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 falls apart uh, different things god allows evil to come against us to refine us he's interested in us not the demon if he allows satan certain power to come after you it's because he wants to mold you during that trial or tribulation maybe you would have the right response are you going to lie you're going to tell the truth are you going to not be in pride are you uh, going to um, tell the yeah you gonna tell the truth about uh, uh, usually usually it's sex that's usually where you humble people is their orientation or an old uh, sex event assault a, you know a, a lie whatever it be but that's a lot of times where you're tested to see if you get angry mad or you're alive blah 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 you worry not about you don't if you worry about that, then you don't understand how powerful God is. How powerful God is. He's, it's, uh, a Sims game, right? You look at a Sims game and you have a couple options, building a, you know, a business district or industrial or housing district, whatever in a Sims game. You have a couple options, right? Uh, Sims, whatever. Oh, you see, life is, uh, the most complicated things in man were, were our, our Nobel Prize, cutting edge, uh, brilliant minds work on. God's foolishness is way above it, way above it. God is so, he showed me, he showed me how powerful he was on a number of occasions. He was a famous uh, uh, man, famous man, right, an actor. He uh, was like a heartthrob for women. God changed reality. 
he uh, changed his body. I'm not going to be specific, but he changed his body and his whole history. So he's already, see, I seen what he was, and God tweaked it and changed reality. Now he's always he's always been that way. Wow, good guy. Just change it like that. He's powerful. It, I uh, had uh, there was a, there was an issue, right? An issue, and I uh, was in my mind uh, debating the issue. I came up with something, right? And it looked good, or or bad. I can't remember exactly what it was, but. God wanted to show me this, that on this issue, it looked good at first, right? It looked really good, this lens I was looking through, right? And he, the same issue, the same, um, um, the, the same uh, uh, stand on it, he said, watch this. You see how it seems to you right now? It's good. Watch this. Same words, same everything. Changed it, and then it looked stupid. Well, wait a minute. It looked brilliant. It was like a brilliant, and God just showed me what. It, and then He changed it, and it, now that very exact thing looks stupid. I was like, "Wow, that's power." He has power where all of America could look at an issue and. And no time at all, have everyone be on either side of the issue. No one knows the difference. He's all powerful. He doesn't have to ask Satan for anything. Satan, well, Joe, you won't let me. You won't let me uh, mess with him. I'll let you, I'll let you do a, go after Joe, but you just can't kill him. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. God. As long as I don't kill him, huh? Okay. Don't, don't worry about what... Don't be afraid of what Satan is allowed to do by God. 